In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do partial scoring with your multiple choice questions. Uh, one of the viewers of my YouTube channel had a related question. It wasn't exactly uh, this topic, but it triggered me to realize that I hadn't made a video where we discussed multiple choice with specifically partial scoring involved in the all new Adobe Captivate. So I thought I'd make this video today. Let's get started. All right, so I have a multiple choice question on the slide here. And in this example, we're doing an all of the above. I don't really have a huge issue with all of the above, as long as all of the above is the wrong answer as often as it is the correct answer. I think that people assume that all of the above is the correct answer. So it's probably better to actually avoid all of the above if you can. And that's what I'm gonna do in this case. So this is a single answer question. I'm going to change that to a multiple answer question and remove that all of the above option by changing the answer options to three. Now, this video is about partial scoring, so let's click the partial scoring checkbox that's now appeared when I selected, of course, multiple answers. So if I choose partial scoring, what's cool about this is that once I select my correct answer, which is a combination of all three, I will now see points for option one. And you can choose one of the defaults or you can select a custom point here. I'm just gonna award one point for each correct answer here. And obviously someone who selects two of the three answers will only get two points, whereas someone who selects all three will gain all three points there. You can increase the number of attempts if you wish, because this is a question slide that might be a little bit more complicated than a single answer. I'm gonna give them two tries to get this correct. Now, if you're going to award points for each correct answer, you might want to adjust your question stem so that learners understand that they're going to get partial scoring for this particular question slide. Otherwise, you might receive a few complaints. But otherwise, this is a great feature. If you still want to give people points for some of the correct answer when they don't choose a complete correct answer. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.